Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel for a new military video. Today we have a list about the IFV or Infantry Fighting Vehicles in the tracked version. If you want you can check also the wheeled version or clicking in the right up corner or checking in the description of the video. But as always let's start with the list and see you at the end of the video with the final considerations. And we start this list with the number 13, the Warrior from United Kingdom. It's being produced from 1987 with a cost of 4.2 million dollars. The latest upgrade was introduced in 2015. This machine has a crew of 3 people and it can transport 7 passengers. The Warrior has a weight of 25.4 tons, it can reach a speed of 75 km per hour on road and 50 km per hour off road. It has a range of 660 km and an engine of 550 HP. For the weapons we have a 40 mm automatic cannon as a main gun and a 7.62 mm coaxial chain gun. The fire range for the main gun is 4000 meters. For the protections we have mostly aluminium for the main body, mine protection system, NBC protection system and small grenade launchers. At the 12th spot we have the Type 89 from Japan. It's being produced from 1989 with a cost of 4.9 million dollars. It has a crew of 3 and it can transport 7 passengers. The Type 89 has a weight of 26.5 tons, it can reach a speed of 70 km per hour on road and 40 km per hour off road. It has a range of 400 km and an engine of 600 HP. For the weapons we have a 35 mm cannon as main gun a 7.62 mm coaxial machine gun and two anti-tank guided missiles launchers. The fire range are 3000 meters for the main gun and 4000 meters for the anti-tank guided missiles. For the protections we have steel, ceramic composite armor, a multi-layer armor, mine protection system, NBC protection system and small grenade launchers. At the 11th spot we have the Tulpar from Turkey. It's being produced from 2013, it's a very new machine, with a cost of only 1.2 million dollars. It's quite cheap. The latest upgrade, the Tulpar S, was introduced in 2015. It has a crew of 3 and it can transport 9 passengers. The Tulpar has a weight of 42 tons, it can reach a speed of 70 km per hour on road and 40 km per hour off road. It has a range of 600 km and an engine of 800 HP. For the weapons we have a 30mm dual feed auto cannon, a 7.62mm coaxial machine gun and 4 anti-tank guided missile launchers. The fire range are 3000 meters for the main gun and 80,000 meters for the anti-tank guided missiles. For the protections we have a composite armor, an explosive reactive armor, mine protection system, NBC protection system and small grenade launchers. And we start the top 10 with the ASCOD from Austria and Spain. It's being produced from 2002 with a cost of 3.7 million dollars. The latest upgrade, the ASCOD 2, was introduced in 2017. It has a crew of 3 people and it, it can transport 7 passengers. The ASCOD has a weight of 42 tons and it can reach a speed on road of 72 km per hour and 45 km per hour off road. It can reach a range of 500 km and it has an engine of 800 HP. For the weapons we have a remote turret system, so it's remotely controlled, with a 30mm dual feed auto cannon and a 7.62mm coaxial gun. The fire range is 3500 meters for the main gun, while for the protections we can find a composite armor, an explosive reactive armor, a trophy active protection system, mine protection system, NBC protection system, laser warning system and small grenade launchers. At the 9th spot we have the Neymar from Israel. It's being produced from 2007 with a cost of 3.9 million dollars. The latest upgrade was introduced in 2017. It has a crew of 3 and it can transport 9 passengers. The weight is 60 tons, it's quite heavy, almost as a tank, and it's not surprising that this one is based on the Merkava, the Israel main battle tank. The Neymar can reach a speed of 60 km per hour on road and 30 km per hour off road with a range of 500 km 
km and an engine of 1200 HP. For the weapons we have a 30mm auto cannon as main gun and a 7.62mm coaxial machine gun. The fire range is 3000 meters for the main gun and for the protections we can find a composite armor, a trophy active protection system, a NASPRO A protection system, explosive reactive armor, mine protection system, MBC protection system and small grade launchers. This one about the defenses is very well made. At the 8th spot we have the ZBD-04 from China. It's been produced from 2004 and the latest upgrade was introduced in 2009. It has a crew of 3 and it can transport 7 passengers. It has a weight of 24 tons and it can reach a speed of 75 km per hour on road and 45 km per hour off road. It can even navigate in water with a speed of 7.5 km per hour. It has a range of 500 km and an engine of 500 and 90 HP. This one has uh, the EMP3 turret with all the same features. So we have a 100mm semi-automatic gun, a 30mm automatic gun, a 7.62mm coaxial machine gun and anti-tank guided missiles. The fire range are 4000 meters for the main gun and 5500 meters for the anti-tank guided missiles. While for the protections we have uh, welded steel armor for uh, main protection, modular armor, mine protection system and MBC protection system and small grade launchers. At the 7th spot we have the BMP-3 from Russia. It's been produced from 1987 with a cost of 3.9 million dollars. The latest upgrade, the BMP-3M Dragoon, was introduced in 2017. It has a crew of 3 and it can transport 7 passengers. The BMP-3 has a weight of 23 tons, it can reach a speed of 70 km per hour on road and 45 km per hour off road. Also this one can navigate in water with a speed of 10.1 km per hour. It has a range of 600 km and an engine of 600 HP. For the weapons we have a 100mm semi-automatic gun, a 30mm automatic gun or a 57mm automatic gun cannon and a 7.62mm coaxial gun as a secondary weapon and anti-tank guided missiles launchers. For the range we have 4000 meters for the main gun and 5500 meters for the anti-tank guided missiles. For the protections we have a composite armor, an explosive reactive armor, the Arena E defense hide suites, the Stora 1 active protection system, mine protection system, MBC protection system and 81mm smoke grenade launchers. At the 6th spot we can find the AIM-2 Bradley from United States. It's been produced from 1980 with a cost of 6.1 million dollars. The latest upgrade, the M2A3, was introduced in 2018. It has a crew of 3 and it can transport 7 passengers. The Bradley has a weight of 28.1 tons, it can reach a speed of 56 km per hour on road and 40 km per hour off road. Also this one can navigate in water with a speed of 7.2 km per hour. It has a range of 480 km and an engine of 650 HP. For the weapons we have a 25mm chain gun, a 7.62mm coaxial machine gun and two anti-tank guided missiles launchers. The fire range are 3000 meters for the main gun and 3800 meters for the anti-tank guided missiles. For the protections we have uh, the welded aluminum armor, laminate armor, explosive reactive armor, mine protection system and uh, smoke grenade launchers. And we reached the top 5 with the Kurganets 25 from Russia. It's been produced from 2015, also this one is very new, with a cost of 4.9 million dollars. It was introduced in 2017, it has a crew of 3 and it can transport 8 passengers. The Kruganet 25 has a weight of 25 tons, it can reach a speed of 80 km per hour on road and 50 km per hour off road. Also this one can navigate in water with a speed of 10,000 km per hour. It has a range of 500 km and an engine of 800 HP. For the main weapon we have a 30mm auto cannon, then we have a 7.62mm coaxial machine gun and two anti-tank guided missile launchers. For the fire range we have 5000 meters for the main gun and 10,000 meters for the anti-tank guided missiles. For the protections we have a composite armor, an active protection system, projectile detection system, IED jammer, mine protection system, MBC protection system and small grenade launchers. 
At the fourth spot we have the CV90 from Sweden. It's been produced from 1993 with a cost of 5.8 million dollars, with the latest upgrade introduced in 2014. It has a crew of three and it can transport eight passengers. The CV90 has a weight of 35 tons, it can reach a speed of 70 km per hour on road and 40 km per hour off road. It has a range of 320 km and a range of 800 HP. For the weapons we have a 40mm auto cannon, a 7.62mm coaxial machine gun and the grenade launchers. For the fire range we have 3500 meters for the main gun. While for the protections we have a composite armor, a Mexas ceramic protection, cage armor, MBC protection system, iron fist active protection suite, mine protection system and small grenade launchers. And we started the top 3 with the K21 from South Korea. It's being produced from 2009 with a cost of 3.9 million dollars. The latest upgrade, the K21 PIP, was introduced in 2018. It has a crew of 3 and it can transport 9 passengers. The K21 has a weight of 26 tons, it can reach a speed of 70 km per hour on road and 40 km per hour off road. Also this one can navigate in water with a speed of 7 km per hour. It has a range of 500 km and an engine of 810 30 HP. For the weapons we have a 40mm auto cannon, a 7.62mm coaxial machine gun and two anti-tank guided missiles launchers. For the fire range we have 3000 meters for the main gun and 4000 meters for the anti-tank guided missiles. For the protections we can find a composite armor, an active protection suite, an anti-tank guided missile hard kill system, also this one is an active protection system, IED jammer, mine protection system and smoke grenade launchers. At the second spot we can find the Puma from Germany. It's been produced from 2010 with a cost of 12 million dollars and it was introduced in 2015. It has a crew of three and it can transport seven passengers. The Puma has a weight of 43 tons, it can reach a speed of 70 km per hour on road and 45 km per hour off road. It has a range of 460 km and an engine of 1070 HP. For the weapons we can find a 30 mm auto cannon, a 7.62 mm coaxial machine gun, two anti-tank guided missiles launchers. For the fire range we have 3000 meters for the main gun and 4000 meters for the anti-tank guided missiles. While for the protections we have the AMAP modular composite armor, an anti-tank guided missile soft kill system, IED jammer, mine protection system, MBC protection system and 76mm smoke grenade launchers. And we finish the list with the T-15 Armata from Russia. It's been produced from 2015 with a cost of 5.7 million dollars. It was introduced in 2018, it has a crew of 3 and it can transport 9 passengers. The T-15 has a weight of 48 tons, it can reach a speed of 70 km per hour on road and 45 km per hour off road. It has a range of 550 km with an engine of 1270 HP. For the weapons we have a remote turret with a 30mm auto cannon or a 57mm auto cannon optionally, a 7.62mm coaxial machine gun and four anti-tank guided missiles launchers. The fire range are 5000 meters for the main gun and 10000 meters for the anti-tank guided missiles. For the protections we have a steel and a ceramic composite armor, Afghanit active protection system, projectile detection system, Malakit explosive reactive armor, IED jammer, laser war warning system, missile approach warning system, mine protection system, MBC protection system and small grenade launchers. Ok, also for today the list finish here, actually I'm not a fan of this kind of weapons, I prefer tanks and uh, APC that they are made just to transport troops. Uh, this one was quite difficult to make because you have to uh, choose a machine with good transport capabilities and good protections because they have to of course protect the crew but they have also to provide direct fire support for the troops. We have uh, some machines with very good protections, take for example the Neymar, it has a very good protection but not so good main gun. Or the opposite, we have the BMP3, the best gun, but not so good for the protection. O okay, it's good for the protection but not as good as the others, so you can't make a very precise list about this kind of machines for me. They should be, I don't know, the first five in the first position, the 5 to 10 the second position and the last three in the third position. 
it should be a big top three with all of them inside. It's really difficult to, to divide them in uh, all these positions. But I wanted to make a list as always, so I had to take a decision. I don't know if you agree with me. If yes, please leave a like. If you don't agree with me, let me know why. Leave a comment, let me know why you don't agree with me. Uh, maybe you have more information and you can, uh, you know, teach me something so I can improve my next update of this list and improve also my other videos. If you have any kind of suggestion, you can always leave me a comment and let me know where and what I can improve. Of course, as always, you can even let me know what you want to see next. So if you want me to make a video about a specific uh, argument, you can always let me know in the comments. Uh, you can check the other list like this one. If you liked this one, there is a playlist in the right up corner or in the description of the video where you can find many more videos like this one. You can watch all of them if you want. And uh, I think that's all. Enjoy the weekend and see you next week with a new video. Bye.